Hello guys, my name's Colin and this is Colin Talks Crypto. I wanna share something with you. This is the Google Trends chart for the search term Bitcoin. And you can see the bull run, the previous bull run in 2017. And this chart is relative and I've showed it in a couple videos, so there shouldn't be anything new to you. Now, relative to the 2017 Bitcoin price peak, the Bitcoin search term right now has a relative search strength of 12%. Now that shows us a couple things. That shows us that people are not searching for the term Bitcoin. People are not looking for this. Now why is that? How is that even possible right now? We have an $18,000 Bitcoin price right now and it's been climbing tremendously. It's been climbing like $10,000 in the past two months or so. So how is it that we have a Bitcoin search term that's 12% of what it was during the last bull run peak when the last bull run peak had a price that was only $2,000 higher and it only lasted for a couple weeks. So right now, the fundamentals are much, much stronger and yet the Bitcoin search term is much, much weaker. How is this possible? And I have a theory here and I wanna share this with you guys. So this is just me kind of putting things together from what I see. So if you've been following in the Bitcoin space recently, you've noticed there's a sort of a pattern of corporate interest where big corporations, whether it's MicroStrategy with $500 million buying Bitcoin as a hedge against the fiat devaluation, you know, they're putting their cash reserves into Bitcoin, or whether it's some of these larger banks that have been expressing interest in Bitcoin. And there are many examples out there of corporations and institutions that are beginning to put some of their cash reserves into Bitcoin as a hedge. And it's actually becoming a normal thing to do. In a way, it's becoming an industry standard, a recognized acceptable practice to put a certain percentage of your corporation's cash assets into Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And so we're increasingly seeing this. And if you take a moment and you look back over the past years, I don't know how long you've all been around for, but if you've been around for like five years, this was unheard of in the past. This never ever happened. And now we have corporation after corporation, institution after institution, bank after bank, professing interest and or actually investing in Bitcoin itself. And it's starting to ramp up. And so this is a huge paradigm shift for Bitcoin itself. It's being validated and recognized globally as a reserve asset. And I think we are just on the cusp. We're at the very, very beginning. People like Michael Saylor of MicroStrategy are on the bleeding edge as far as corporate investment into Bitcoin goes. These guys are way ahead of their time. There is so much big money that is coming to Bitcoin on a corporate institutional level. So that's a huge paradigm shift. Now, why is the Bitcoin search term only 12% of what it was during the last peak? I think it's because of that fact. I think that all the money that's been driving the price of Bitcoin up right now is all happening. It's all flying under the radar of the mainstream media. It's all happening before the hype hits. We haven't even seen the hype. If you've noticed, this news is not mainstream right now. The fact that Bitcoin's market cap is greater than the market cap back in 2017, due to the fact that for these last two and a half years, Bitcoin issuance has continued to happen. So therefore, even though our price is a little below the all-time high, because we have a greater number of coins in circulation right now for Bitcoin, we have actually a greater market cap because market cap is the current Bitcoin price multiplied times the number of coins in circulation. So even though our price is a little down right now from the all-time high, the fact that we have a greater number of coins in circulation means that our market cap is higher than in 2017 at the peak of the bull run. And yet, no news station is covering this. It's going under the radar. And I think that that's what this Google search term is reflecting. No one is searching for this. Your everyday person isn't aware of this very much. And the massive, super intelligent corporations and institutional money is aware of this, at least the early adopters of that sector. And they are jumping on right now. And that is the reason the price has been surging from $9,000 all the way up to $18,000, basically without stopping. This this is institutional money happening behind the scenes. This is not your regular users jumping on board because if your regular users are jumping on board, your everyday investor, your regular family or your regular working class citizen, when they start jumping on, they're gonna be searching for the term Bitcoin. You know how it is when you go on Google, you type in Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin, where to buy Bitcoin. People will be typing that phrase in even just to find the exchanges so they can find where to buy it. 
And so we will see this number increase, but it really just struck me that this parallels the early stages of the internet. And it probably parallels other massive disruptive technologies when they're being adopted. They get adopted on corporate and institutional levels first. If I can take you back to the early stages of the internet, like the very beginning, it was these clunky old school computers with the slowest possible, like 200 baud modems. And they were connecting like college campuses at first. It was one college campus that maybe just had an intranet at first. And they braved out and they connected with another college campus. Or you have uh, various institutions that had their own intranets. And then they slowly bridged them to other institutions. So you can see the pattern. It wasn't, you know, Bob and his mother Skyping over the internet. It wasn't Joe sending an email to his grandmother. It was corporation to corporation, campus to campus, institutional level communication. And that's who adopted the internet first. I would actually argue that the everyday person was the latecomer to that adoption cycle. The internet was built for massive institutional level communication first, and then the everyday Joe found it later and turned it into all these amazing things that we see now today. And I think that 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 same pattern is occurring with Bitcoin right now, right in front of our very eyes. And the clue was this Bitcoin search term being at the bottom and yet the price being near the top. This means that it's not on people's radar. This means that we have so far to go price-wise that it is unbelievable. I think many of you are going to be utterly blown away this bull run. When you see the Bitcoin search term not just match the previous all-time high, but it goes so high on this chart that it pushes this peak down to where this peak is right here. And the new peak will be way up here, all the way at the top, 100%, because it's the new relative all-time high for the search term Bitcoin. That's what it's going to look like. This previous peak probably isn't even going to be this high. It's going to be like a blip, like 6% of what the actual new peak is. And that's where we'll have topped out at our new bull run. And that's when your everyday person will be involved buying cryptocurrency and your everyday Joe will be getting involved. But right now we are seeing institutional and corporations getting involved behind the scenes before everyone FOMOs, before the media drives everyone into a media hype and a frenzy, which is what pushes that price up even further. So guys, this is really exciting. If you're in right now, just don't fret. Like you are in with the big money. Like right now you're getting in with MicroStrategy. Why would you be worried when MicroStrategy is an early adopter of its own class of investors? They are still coming, guys. They're coming in waves. And actually, guys, let's do something here. I just changed the chart from 2004 to present. We had been looking at the last five years up until this point in the video. So now it's all the way back to 2004. Now I want you to check this out. This is where the last bull run was. This is the previous $1,100 peak. This is the Bitcoin search term in relationship to the previous bull run peak. And you can see it was a 12%. So if this pattern is to repeat, we could expect that the last bull run, the $20,000 price bull run, the search term for that becomes about 12% of what the new search term is. And if you go back even further, in April of 2013, we had an 8% Bitcoin search term. So right now we're at 12%, 13% compared with these past bull runs. We're like matching bull runs from seven years ago as far as how much interest is involved here. I just really want to hit this point home because it really blows my mind that we're about to break all-time highs and our search terms are on par with seven years ago. But I think this really paints the picture and I really wanted to share that with you, the relationship of the early internet first forming with campuses, institutions, corporations, bridging their connections and interconnecting the web, what became the web, and then your everyday person got involved. Well, right now I see a parallel with Bitcoin where institutions are jumping on board, it's flying under the radar, and the everyday person isn't even jumping on yet. Wait until they do. Um, there's going to be, you know, every bull run, there's a group of people that buy near the top. Someone's buying that Bitcoin and it's not the corporations. It's not these massive institutions that are buying Bitcoin on a FOMO and then have a massive correction afterwards. The big money, the smart money is getting in now. So just strap onto your seats, guys. It's going to be a wild ride. I got to get off this video because I'm driving myself into like a Bitcoin hysteria right now. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs>